Oh, hi there, Pisces. Dadichi here with your uh, month in focus, September. Um, sorry if there's a little bit of a technical problem here. I've had some, some issues with my video and I'm using some new software here to uh, relay the information to you this month. Uh, which is, uh, in fact, is a very interesting month given the strong flavor of 8th house Scorpio activities with Venus, the Moon, and uh, the presence of Mercury there after the ninth, uh, showing us a very strong focus on deeper hidden, even sexual uh, feelings during the month of September. And uh, it's important for you to deal with that energy. Uh, and in some cases, I normally say you need to channel that into a more creative outlet. But there are some occasions when that's not possible. And uh, when the raw, unbridled passion of physicality is what you need. So that could be an issue <coughs> that uh, is currently uppermost in your mind. And we do see right now the presence of the sun in the seventh house. So connecting with other people, creating relationships is very, very important to you. Um, your luck planet Mars right now in the sixth house of work shows that, you know, you may be doing all you can in work, but that's not the real focus for you. I think uh, the angular position of Mercury, the Sun, is uh, going to dominate. And of course, along with your ruling planet, Jupiter, in the fifth house of love affairs, love, love affairs, love affairs, maybe that's a pun, um, is also going to continue to expand your need to um, communicate amorously, sexually, uh, and and in an entertaining sort of way, I think you're looking for fun right now from what I can see in your hor horoscope, particularly through the month of September and into October, which I will do uh, this month because I know that some of you uh, are feeling that I'm not giving you the uh, the full month, so I'm going to overlap that into the next month. I'm traveling right now, so it's not always uh, possible for me to you know, get the uh, videos up on the on the first day of the month. My apologies for that. I hope I can redeem myself. Uh, we see Mars in a hard aspect to Saturn on the 9th. That's tomorrow again. That's um, showing problems in the culture of your work. Maybe possibly here in Australia we've had this new election. Uh, a bit of fear uh, surrounding the, uh, you know, the work conditions, the pay, the taxes, that sort of thing. Uh, all you can do is do your best in the work uh, that you have at your disposal and uh, things will look after themselves in due course. But don't get involved in disputes with people you work with, poli uh, particularly political disputes, as that's likely when Mars and Saturn are uh, in that hard aspect. That should pass very shortly over the next couple of days, though. Some of the other aspects, I'll, I'll give you the important aspects here, which I think are uh, the movement of Venus into the ninth house on the 11th. That's going to shift stuff away from this sexual thing, more to travel. I think travel and higher education, a lot of cultural opportunity for you there. And uh, naturally, too, we see the the uh, triangular aspect of Mars uh, on the 15th, bringing with it more of a financial uh, sort of refocus. It's going to cause um, not bad effects to you, but I think... Uh, a bit of a wake-up call, and maybe just in time, because the Mars trine Uranus aspect in the second house on this 15th, and leading up to it, is a signal that you want to try something different in your finances, maybe a way of curtailing some of your expenses, and uh, getting back on top in surplus in your bank account over the next few months. Mercury at the right angle to Jupiter <coughs> on the 19th, could bring the relationship issues to a head. If you've not been getting much satisfaction, it shows me here that this, this is a time when you might be likely to speak up and to make sure that your needs are being met. If it's all one-way traffic, that's not going to work. So uh, that around the 19th, 20th, 21st, and of course leading up to that, depending on the date you're born, it can vary from uh, individual to individual is going to be a very interesting time indeed. Now, you may say too much at that time because the Mercury-Jupiter combination is well known as uh, signifying exaggeration or an excess of speech or thought. 
So you need to rely on your spontaneity, be uh, congenial. Actually, I'd be recommending that you shouldn't do anything until after the 21st if it's a deep and meaningful discussion that you want. Maybe wait till after that because it's quite likely you'll say more than you intend to in the heat of the moment. Your ruling planet, for one of them, Jupiter, in a wonderful aspect uh, this month to the sun, to the sun sign, particularly leading up to the 23rd of September. Uh, again, that's very lucky for romantic affairs and, of course, for children. And anything creative, indeed, will be uh, well um, supported by these transits. The end of the month is interesting. Um, we see Mercury moving to the ninth house, again showcasing your interest in educational matters or travel, the opportunity to purchase tickets or to communicate with people that you need to uh, make your arrangements with in foreign areas. Uh, in October, Mercury is in a fine aspect to Neptune on the 2nd, um, and then again a fine aspect on the 7th to Pluto. This dominates that first week of the next month, but you do have the hard aspects from the Sun to Pluto and Uranus indicating a bit of an edgy time. Maybe you're a bit high strung. Uh, a bit of meditation might help. Until next month, I look forward to your company at uh, astrology.com.au where we can give you more detail on this on a monthly, daily and even yearly basis along with our free readings that are there for uh, all of you. Please join us there. Good luck. See you next month. Bye-bye.